Ooh, it's hot. Hello, YouTubers. It's been about six weeks since I've had an update. Uh, I had somebody ask me about these bags that I'm growing in, my hanging root pouches. This is a two gallon root pouch that I got from Greenhouse Mega Store. They're not paying me for this, I just bought them. Uh, I punched holes with a hole punch through the material. Let's see if you can see this. And then ran string through it just to give it a double support. <clears throat> this is a one gallon jug, milk jug. You can see how it fits in. Just to kind of give you a perspective. Everything grown in here, in here is in a two gallon root pouch. And I hang it from or inside a five gallon bucket. Sort of like that, if you can see. It only hangs this low, and there's never a wet reser water reservoir down here. There's a hole in the bottom, so it all completely drains out. Now I'll show you around. These are my black cherry. I've already topped these two, and I'm going to top those two after uh, Easter. Move this out of the way. And still bearing a lot of fruit. Obviously still bearing, it's just getting going. These are uh, black cherry from seed. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if anybody else has this kind of problem. Uh, stems growing out of the the root the fruit cluster and you can see I've got getting lots of fruit here I don't want to get in the sun I thought it was going to be cloudy in here today I actually have two types of cherry tomatoes here. Uh, these are ones that I bought from uh, one of the organic food stores. It was just a really tasty tomato. I saved seeds and uh, came out pretty good. But these are my golden berry. They're just now starting to flower. Uh, also called uh, ground cherries or Peruvian super fruit. Uh, they're my paste tomatoes. I wish these were going to be more productive. My big beefs. Now this is another problem I'm having. I've got stems growing out of stems. I don't know if this is a problem of, that anybody else is having or if it's a ladder, not enough light. You can see that. I took one of these and put it in the dirt and it's rooted. It looks like it might actually grow some uh, trying to grow tomatoes. These were the cuttings I put in six weeks ago. Coming along. I'm leaving some stems grow. I'm going to plug this in. Again, I'm going to take another cutting with this and drop it back into this one. This one just stopped growing. Um, 
I'll go back and see if I can show you a picture. This was uh, just one of the tomatoes that basically I, I melted or boiled or whatever, killed, and it had this one shoot coming off and I let it go. And, and this I'm going to just cut off and let this grow from the bottom of the stem. See how that does. Produce some some nice tomatoes. All right, guys, that's about it. I'll show y'all inside the pouches. Nutrients. This one goes up to here. And this is a black cherry. I just dropped a seed in here and let it germinate, just grow. This one was the Mexican tomato. And you can kind of see if you can follow it. This is the one as it goes to the end. And once again, this is the black cherry. Uh, they're planted from seed. I'll follow it up to the top. And the older one, see where it goes. This the this one going up all the way up to there. And here I've got three. These were two seeds. Uh, this is the old Mexican type. These are black cherries. One up here. And the next one going up here. And one of each. The black cherry. And these these stems are just getting in my way. It's time to <laughs> let these four go. They don't produce as, as big a tomato when they get that long. But still tasty. I just have single plants in here. These were cuttings that I took off the uh, Mexican tomato. I don't really know what kind it is. Let's just call it Mexican because it's, they said it was grown in Mexico. But it's not, doesn't have quite as much acid as the black cherry. And it's, so it seems a little sweeter. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope I didn't take up too much of your time today.